Welcome back to Brussels, where EU leaders are at dinner chewing over the intractable problems of how to hold the Eurozone together and ensure that the wider EU can pull itself away from recession. David Cameron said today that the greatest risk to the Eurozone was the situation in Greece. Like much of that country ravaged by unemployment, the town of Lavrio turned to the left-wing party Syriza at the recent election. And as our foreign affairs correspondent Jonathan Rugman now reports, its people want to stay in the Euro but reject the continuing austerity that accompanied it. Littering the hills around Lavrio are the silver mines which once financed the golden age of Athens. Silver from which the very first drachma coins were cast some two and a half thousand years ago. The town's mining industry is long dead now, though the talk in Lavrio of returning to the drachma has only just begun. Lavrio looks like a fairly typical Greek town entering the high season of summer. But scratch beneath the surface and you find a place deeply uncertain, both about the future and its place within the Eurozone. The harbour is brimming with uncharted charter yachts. Tourism becalmed and confined to port in the worst season in 15 years. If the old men linger over a single coffee a lot longer now, well, their pensions have been cut by 30%. As for unemployment, well, it's around 40%. And Christos, in his early 20s, can't even find a holiday job as a waiter. No jobs, no money. So no life. Who do you blame for this crisis? Greek government first, and then Germany. German-engineered austerity is blamed for this too. The holiday homes abandoned and unfinished since financial boom turned to bust. Then there are these electricity bills shown to us by local activists, hundreds of them. All final warnings telling Greeks that their power will be disconnected because they can't afford to pay. By a tumble-down shack, his family is too ashamed to let us enter. We find Yorgos, who lives here with his wife and five children. His electricity has been threatened, and three days ago his water was cut off until the local Communist Party intervened, and he wants Europe to put an end to Greece's pain. I would just ask Europe to help poor people, to help them find work and stop trying to take money away from people who don't have any. At the moment, I can't afford to pay health insurance for my kids if something goes wrong. They're trying to cut everything off, even benefits. They're trying to make it impossible for us to breathe. All over Lavrio are signs of support for the Syriza party radical leftists who campaign against austerity and who've pulled more votes here than anyone else. Athanasia Markouli will be voting for them again next month because she says Greeks can no longer drink Germany's economic medicine. As for the Eurozone pushing Greece out, well, they wouldn't dare. They need us. Otherwise what? Otherwise nothing. There will be a problem in uh, the, the whole Europe. So you're in a powerful position to negotiate? I think so. I think so. Wherever we go, even at this christening, the mood seems a mix of desperation and defiance. The guests emerging into the sunlight are now entering their fifth year of recession, their third general election in four years. What sort of Greece is this baby uh, entering now? Very black, very, very, very difficult, very black, very... I don't know how to express this, very... It's very difficult. Try to help me here. Lavrio seems caught between a rock and a hard place. Nobody we met wants to leave the Euro yet nobody accepts the Eurozone's austerity either. And choosing between the two, well, that's not a choice anyone wants to make. Jonathan Rugman, Channel 4 News, Lavrio.